Hey guys, this is Anita. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is about the 23 standalone books I'm planning to read in 2023. I had similar uh, video in 2022 as well. I picked only 8 from them. I definitely read more than 22 standalone books. But all other are from uh, other buddy reads and read-alongs I joined. Leslie from Nerdy Narrative hosts Wine and Crime Book Club. She reads one thriller per month. So I joined with them for three books and I joined other buddy reads. Actually, that's a good thing because uh, this year almost I think three are from these impromptu buddy reads I joined. So I don't regret it. I'm hoping to stick to my plan. But if I have a chance to read a good book with friends, I'm not going to skip it. Let's see what I have in my list this year. The first three books are from the same world. First Love World by Joe Abercrombie, Bessel Cold, Heroes and Red Country. These standalones follow the first trilogy. I still have to read the third book from the trilogy, Last Argument of Kings. That may be the last book I read in 2022. If I cannot finish that, I'll read it in January and finish that. Then I'll focus on these standalones. And that leaves me with uh, a short story collection, which name I cannot recollect now. Anyway, that short story collection and the next trilogy, I'll focus in 2024. And the next two books are uh, retellings of Indian epics. Those are Palace of Illusions by Chitra Banerjee Devakruni and Kaikeyi by Vaishnavi Patel. Palace of Illusions is reimagining of Mahabharata in Panchali's POV. Panchali is the wife of Pandavas. Evie sent me this book, I think, at the end of 2021. We are supposed to read it in 2022, but we did not. We will be reading this first thing in January in 2023. Kaikei is a retelling of uh, Ramayana. It's not exactly a retelling of Ramayana. It is focused on one character, Kaikei, from Ramayana. Kaikei is a stepmother to Ram. She loved Ram, but later, because of some influences she sends him off to forest so this is her story i'm not sure how closely it follows the original epic i'll have to read and find out next in my list is spare cuts through water by simon Jimenez. this is evie's all-time favorite she loves both this and vanished birds by simon Jimenez. but this premise instantly grabbed my attention this tyrannical emperor and his sons lock their god in their palace and with the help of two people god tries to escape and i think uh, tries to end the tyrannical reign the premise sounds so cool i can't wait to read this book next on my list is city of last chances by Adrian Tchaikovsky. I read 12 books by him, 7 just in 2022. His writing and his stories usually work for me. This is a standalone so I'm going to pick this. Depends on my mood, I may pick up his other standalone Cage of Souls but uh, this will happen for sure. Next two books are by KJ Parker. I read Folding Knife and uh, The Company by KJ Parker in 2022 and both of those are uh, five stars for me. I like Parker's writing. I like humor in his uh, writing and I like his exploration of characters, dark side of his characters. So this year in 2023, I'm going to read The Hammer and Savages. And the next two books are uh, by the same author, Elantris and Emperor's Soul by Brandon Sanderson. I read Mistborn Era 1 and Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. Before Stormlight in 2024, I want to finish his other standalones. Alan Andres is his debut novel and I think it has mixed reviews. Some people doesn't care for it, even Sanderson fans and some people love this. I hope I enjoy this and I heard great things about Emperor Soul. Everyone I knew said that this is his perfect book and this is his best book. I'm hoping to enjoy both of them. And the next one is The Legend of Black Jack by A.R. Vitham. This is a self-published standalone sci-fi. I heard first about this book from Andrew Widgerly Reads. 
I wanted to read in actually 2022, but I could not. I'll definitely read this uh, in 23. I think it is a portal fantasy and I also think it has talking animals. So sounds cute. I want to read more self-published in 2023. So if you know any good self-published standalones, please let me know in comments. And the next on my list is Spinning Silver by Naomi Novik. I haven't read anything by Naomi Novik. Out of all her books, I am most interested in in this uh, and uh, also more people like this book i think this is a retelling of rumple still skin i'm hoping it will be a palette cleanser for me in between epic fantasy books next on my list is good omens by neil gaiman and terry pratchett i read neil gaiman books several of them but i haven't read anything by terry pratchett yet i decided to start with this because it is a standalone and i heard it is hilarious i think it is about a conflict between demon and angel or something about demon and angel i hope pratchett's humor work for me i haven't read many books with humor fingers crossed i enjoy pratchett's humor next four on my list are the only sci-fi books i i think legend of black jack is sci-fi it's about portal fantasy i'm not sure why i added in my fantasy list anyway next four on my list are sci-fi last year i did not do well with sci-fi i read very few so i hope i'll read all four of them so the first one is flowers of algernon by daniel keys this is a sci-fi classic i heard good things about it i think this is about a mentally challenged person going through a, an experiment to become intelligent something along those lines i heard this is a heartbreaking book but very well written so i'm hoping to pick this up this year and the next one is recursion by blake crouch blake crouch books are fast paced and entertaining i did not enjoy dark matter much but that was definitely very quick read so I'm hoping to read this as palate cleanser and um, just as a popcorn book. So next on my list is Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel. I actually picked this in July 2021 and read around 50 pages. Civilization ends because of a pandemic and I found it very bleak. I wasn't in the mood then so I stopped it but i'm hoping to pick it up again and i hope i'll finish this time and the next on my list is stories of your life and others by ted chiang this is a short story collection both this and exhalation were on my list in 2022 but i did not read them i'm hoping to pick it up this year short stories are perfect to read between big fantasy books next to two in my list are historical fiction the first one is shogun by james clavel this is an epic novel inspired by japanese history i wanted to read this book from long time but never picked it up in january some people from grimoire discord are uh, hosting a buddy read for this i think uh, alan johanna also are joining this so i'm planning to read along with them this is very long so i think they're planning to read this over a span of two months I think they're also planning to read a sequel type in. Yes, I realize now that it is not a standalone, but I already added it in this list and decided to go with the flow. My next historical fiction is uh, Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I read uh, Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by her last year and it, it, and it became one of my favorite books i want to read more books by her carrie soto is back is her latest release and it uh, premise uh, instantly grabbed my attention because i love watching tennis this book is about a tennis champion carrie soto six years after her retirement when she sees her record getting broken she decides to come out of her retirement i already have a hold for this book in library so i I'll read this soon. And next on my list is uh, Seven Days in June by Tia Williams. This is the only romance in my list. I really read romance. I enjoyed Brown Sisters Trilogy by Talia Hebert. And later I tried Beach Read. I did not enjoy Beach Read much. But my friend Charmin recommended this book to me. So I am planning to read this as a palate cleanser. Next is the only classic in my list which is Persuasion by Jane Austen. I read three books by Jane Austen so far, Pride and Prejudice, Mansfield Park, Northanger Abbey. Pride and Prejudice is my favorite out of all. Persuasion is Evie's favorite. 
I am hoping I would enjoy this as much as Pride and Prejudice, if not more. And the last one in my list is All the Sinners Bleed by S.A. Cosby. I read Razor Blade Tears by him this year and I loved it. He explored racism and homophobia in this book and uh, I loved his approach. I want to read more by him. This is his upcoming release. This is about a former FBI agent who comes back home to take care of his father and runs as sheriff to create a difference especially in black community and gets involved in investigation. This is one of my most anticipated releases in 2023. I may pick up uh, other thrillers based on my mood, especially as part of uh, Leslie's Wine and Crime Book Club. But uh, this will happen for sure. Let me know if you want to buddy read any of these books with me. Please like, comment and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.